Ooh. Oh my god, mm. yes! Mm. Get in my bed! Social media outlets and photo sharing apps are inundated with amazing photos of food. The term for these epic photos of food is food porn, and it was actually coined in 1984 by a feminist writer named Rosalind Coward, but at the time it was mostly used for chefs and you know, people in the culinary world. It wasn't until the early 2000s that the term food porn started being used by a lot of people, which coincided with the rise of social media and smartphones. So what is the science of food porn, and what exactly makes it so appealing? Some studies have shown that simply looking at photos of food can stimulate the release of ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hunger hormone released in your stomach, which tells your brain it's time to eat. Whoa, did you see that photo that Susie posted of a dripping pepperoni slice? Double tapped, commented, ordering the pizza we need! So looking at pictures of food can physiologically make you hungry. The reason we may love to post photos of our food is the same reason we love to post photos of other things. For example, someone who's interested and passionate about yoga might post photos of themselves in different yoga positions. Take the photo, take the photo, take the photo! Similarly, a coffee lover may post a picture of their life-changing, perfect Starbucks drink to show the world that they started their day off right. One skinny, non-fat, skinny, non-fat mochaccino. <laughs> oh my god, my name is Michelle, not Mitchell. <laughs> this is definitely worth a post on the gram. Food porn posters may just excessively enjoy their culinary experiences. It all comes down to why social media is so popular. If you spent the night making a dozen cupcakes and they look amazing, you want to post them on social media for gratification and justification for your work. The same thing can be said for traveling. If you were to go somewhere exotic, like Iceland for example, you're likely to post a lot of the cuisine you encounter there, like cured and fermented shark. The food is just part of your wider travel experience and you want to share that with people. Interestingly, a study actually found that when participants were shown photos of salty food, they enjoyed salty peanuts less than when participants were shown photos of sweet food. It is as if viewing the photos actually satiated their need for salty foods. To add to this, those who were shown 60 photos of salty foods enjoyed the peanuts less than those who were only shown 20 photos. Burgers and pizza and oh my god, ice cream, yummy! Oh. Food? Want some? Um, no, I just ate actually. <laughs> It would seem as if the photos actually satisfy the participants' cravings for salty food, but this kind of contradicts the study that we talked about earlier. Hashtag science. Whether food porn photos are showcasing blueberry pancakes, sushi, or your favorite meal, you can bet that they're always carefully arranged and glamorized. You know, a juicy burger with crisp lettuce, a nice layer of tomatoes, some cheese on there, some hot mustard ketchup, you know. That looks a lot better than some floppy, soggy old bun and a gray burger. I think I'm gonna get your Hungry Man's Epic Burger. It looks delicious. Here you go, sir. Enjoy. I guess I can add you to the list of people who've lied to me. I'm just a <laughs> Why? The tendency for us humans to be drawn towards these more extravagant versions of food may actually be linked to our primal instinct. The appeal of jazzed up versions of natural things, known as a supernormal stimuli, can actually be found in other non-human animals as well. For instance, birds will go so far as to take away food from their young and give it to other fake baby birds with brighter beaks. And you can bet that advertising agencies take advantage of this primal instinct. Hot dogs, fries, and ice cream on advertisements are no match for what's actually served to you. Most advertised food is actually touched up in one way or another, kind of like putting makeup on food. Strawberries are colored bright red with red lipstick. A little for you, a little for me. Cereal in milk may actually be cereal in glue. Whoa. The perfect shimmery apple may be sprayed with deodorant or hairspray. Ready for our close up. Ice cream is actually Crisco, mashed potatoes, and syrup so that it won't melt when you're taking photos of it. Mmm, ice cream. <sighs> Simply put, these adverts are actually priming our brains and allowing them to anticipate how good the food is going to be, tapping into our instincts. Some restaurants have gone so far as to prohibit taking pictures of their food in their restaurant because they don't want amateur photos making their way around the internet. So at the end of the day, there might be a lot of reasons why people choose to share their food porn photos and why others like to consume them. 
And if you love learning about food, we've got a free yummy audiobook for you this week at audible.com slash thought. Yes, yeah, so our recommendation this month is a book called Yes Chef by Marcus Samuelson, um, and it's an inspiring tale. It's a chef memoir about going from Ethiopia to New York, having some of the most demanding and cutthroat jobs in the industry. You can get this book or another one of your choice at audible.com slash thought for free. There's tons of different ones you can choose from, and it's also kind of amazing because you can just listen to them while you don't work out or take photos of food porn. So yeah, go check it out. Don't forget you can follow us both on Instagram and Twitter and be sure to send us your food porn photos and tag us in them because we can all be hungry in this together. You can also subscribe to ASAP Thought. We do weekly episodes every Wednesday and a vlog every Saturday. We'll see you then. Peace. Peace. I am finding my peace. Take the photo! Take the photo! Take the photo! Take the photo! <laughs> <laughs>